No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Isaiah 54, verse 17. This day is notable in English history for two great deliverances wrought by God for us. On this day, the plot of the papists to destroy our houses of parliament was discovered. 1605. While for our princes they prepare, and caverns deep a burning snare, he shot from heaven a piercing ray, and the dark treachery brought today. And secondly, today is the anniversary of the landing of King William III at Torbay, by which the hope of popish ascendancy was quashed, and religious liberty was secured in 1688. This day ought to be celebrated, not by the Saturnalia striplings, but by the songs of saints. Our Puritan forefathers most devoutly made it a special time of thanksgiving. There is extant a record of the annual sermons preached by Matthew Henry on this day. Our Protestant feelings and our love of liberty should make us regard its anniversary with holy gratitude. Let our hearts and lips exclaim, We have heard with our ears, and our forefathers have told us the wondrous things which thou didst in their day, and in the time of old before them. Thou hast made this nation the home of the gospel, and when the foe has risen against her, thou hast shielded her. Help us to offer repeated songs for repeated deliverances. Grant us more and more a hatred of Antichrist, and hasten on the day of her entire extinction. Till then and ever, we believe the promise, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Should it not be laid upon the heart of every lover of the gospel of Jesus on this day to plead the overturning of false doctrines and the extension of divine truth? Would it not be well to search our own hearts and turn out any popish lumber of self-righteousness which may lie concealed therein? No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Isaiah 54, verse 17.